Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, December the 29th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. There's a look at the temperature trace at my weather station in Helena. Certainly an interesting day as the temperature pretty much hovered in the lower and mid 40s for much of the day with the clouds and the rain. Clouds are still there this morning. The rain has moved out, but it's still a little foggy as we can see from the Trustville Skycam. And you can see from the Jasper Skycam, the road's still damp. But again, the rain has moved out. We'll look at the regional radar in just a moment. The uh, Storm system, the, the surface low that moved across southeast Alabama yesterday afternoon and evening has moved up into the central uh, mid-Atlantic states area. And uh, we're watching now a cold front, a uh, secondary cold front, another shot of cold air coming through the mid-Mississippi River Valley. The short wave is moving by the area this morning that uh, produced that and generated that low over the uh, central gulf. And uh, that uh, will be moving briskly off the Atlantic coast later today. In the meantime, we're kind of in a transition day with temperatures starting out uh, with not much change from the temperatures yesterday afternoon, actually. We're starting out generally across central Alabama in the lower 40s, and uh, we do expect that front to move through later tonight, and as it does, it'll uh, drop temperatures down into the mid-30s for lows on Monday morning, and then we'll see some clouds on Monday along with, uh, you know, maybe a few sprinkles possible. And uh, the cold air, meaning temperatures on Monday, not going to get out of the mid-40s. There's a look at the regional uh, radar, and uh, by the time most uh, people see this video, I think the rain will be out of East Alabama. QPF-wise, we're not looking at a great deal of rain over the next five days. Uh, most of that rain has moved off, and uh, we've got just a, l a little chance on Monday and then another chance on Thursday. Storm Prediction Center is now not out looking a specific slight risk area. Uh, they do mention the potential for marginally severe storms over uh, primarily over the uh, South Carolina area. All right, the 06 6 GFS model run. And uh, there goes the trough over Virginia and North Carolina. And then we're watching the uh, second trough that stretches from Lake Superior back uh, to toward near Denver, and that trough will be bringing in some colder air. As you can see, the 540 thickness line coming through southern uh, uh, Missouri. For Monday, uh, that short wave moves into the bottom of the trough, and that will certainly settle the cold air into the area. You can see the 540 line coming down through Tupelo on uh, Monday afternoon. By Tuesday, the pattern begins to show signs of flattening out. Now, we do have a southern stream uh, short wave over South Texas, but it looks like that's going to stay well to the south as we look at the map for January the 1st on Wednesday, the upper air pattern. And we do see another shot of cold air coming through the northern Rockies as another short wave comes uh, into the central part of the United States. And that will have very little moisture with it as the uh, Gulf is going to stay pretty much cut off. And uh, so we're not expecting a great deal of precipitation. And interesting that the GFS and the European are now in closer agreement, um, very close, as a matter of fact, on keeping any precipitation down in the Gulf of Mexico. Back to the GFS, so we see that uh, short wave drop in to what is essentially the long wave trough position over the eastern half of the country on the second. And a little bit of model difference here, the GFS still looks pretty dry. Uh, with a 540 line coming back down into the vicinity of Memphis with another shot of colder air. But the European, a little more um, aggressive with some rain and precipitation, but still they're both in agreement that the precipitation will be ahead of the cold air, so it doesn't look like we're going to see anything in the way of any winter precipitation. Back to the GFS on Friday the 3rd, uh, the pattern begins to show signs of flattening just a little bit. We still have uh, that one major trough uh, short wave moving through that long wave trough position over New England. And then we've got another short, short wave trough moving uh, out of the central Rockies. And then on uh, Saturday, 
Uh, we see that the pattern has flattened and gone pretty much zonal across the southern tier of the United States. And when we get to Sunday, a week from today, we can see now that the GFS is beginning to hint at the possibility of a more long wave trough position over the western part of the country. As uh, we're not exactly coming under a ridge, it's, uh, I would call it still a fairly flat pattern with a nearly zonal flow. And it does look like next weekend will be dry with the Gulf opening up on Sunday to our west. Now, looking out into voodoo country, uh, we've seen a couple of uh, flips and flops with the GFS. And it looks like it's doing another one of those, but kind of coming back to something in the middle. You can see now, instead of having any kind of uh, really strong amplitude to any kind of long wave trough position, uh, there's still the hint of the long wave trough over the central part of the country, but uh, the pattern is certainly a lot flatter. But we're still seeing nice short waves move through the flow, so the pattern is still pretty active. And then when we get out to the end of the period, 372-hour forecast, this is the 13th of January. Once again, the GFS more or less suggesting a flatter pattern over the southern part of the country, uh, with still more or less the long wave trough in the central U.S. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this Sunday. I uh, expect James Spann to be back from his vacation on Monday, so he should have the next edition of the Weather Extreme video. In the meantime, I hope that you enjoy the day, and Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.